Hi there, you've joined me, Mike, and today I've got a recipe, chocolate, cake, you know, I mean, they're two of the greatest things we have in this world. This is chocolate lava cake. So why don't we take a look at the ingredients? So here on the end, I have 50 millilitres of milk, 25 grams of butter, and I've got 20 grams of the, these three things here, cocoa powder, sugar, and this is just plain flour. And then I've got um, a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and I've got some cubes of chocolate. And so to start with, I'm going to take a mixing bowl and a whisk. And this, I mean, this butter has been softened. And I'm just going to put it all in, in there, and with the milk, and give it a good whisk together. And you need to break up the butter a bit. And these are called chocolate lava cakes because the middle of the inside is going to be runny, so when people cut into it, it's going to have a lovely gooey chocolate sauce in the middle. So the mixture's now combined, and I'm going to get a few extra things over here. I've got my trusty spatula, and here I've got a couple of ramekins, and I've cut out some greaseproof paper in a little circle and it's because I want to turn them upside down onto a plate at the end and this will just help it without those if you turn it upside down it probably will get stuck so to start with we just get a bit of the mixture and put it on the bottom and I'm just going to take a cube of chocolate and put it on top like that and then put the rest of the mixture on top you don't want to fill them actually too much because they really rise in the oven and um, so you just want to be careful. And then I'm just going to cover the little bit of chocolate there and then put it in a microwave for about 50 seconds. You don't want to overdo it because if you do it too much then actually there won't be a gooey chocolate centre. So one at a time always in the, in the microwave. And I'm just going to cut round the outside, and you've got to be careful because it's, it's incredibly hot. And then I'm going to turn it up and give it a little shake. Hopefully it will turn out. There we go. And then you just pull back the bit of paper on the bottom, and you already you can see the little bit of chocolate there inside. It's very exciting. And then to garnish it, you can do various things. You could maybe do some icing sugar in a sieve, maybe so with some raspberries, that goes really well with uh, chocolate. And there we have it, chocolate lava pudding. So I'd love you to try these at home. They really are very tasty, and particularly when you get the chocolate running out through the middle. It's amazing and fantastic for a dessert at a dinner party. But please do subscribe to this channel if you want to see more recipes. And as always, comment below if you've got any questions or if you want to let me know how you got on with this recipe. But I'll be back again soon for some more. Bye for now.